You are the work of the Lord. And he has so many beautiful works. The, the trees, the grass. It's just, wow. If you think about it, saints. There's so many works of the Lord's hands. The Lord is gracious and merciful to his works. And in Isaiah 45, 11, the word of God reads on this wise. It's very specific that we are to command the work of God's hands. So if you are a work of God's hands and your neighbor is a work of God's hands, hope is a work of God's hands, the grass, the trees, the stars, the moon, the sun, all works of the Lord's hands. We're not commanding God himself, saints. We're commanding the works. So I speak today. Commanding the work of the Lord's hands. That you would be blessed today. That you would not be stressed today. That you would not find yourself in a mess today. And if you do, by some circumstance that the Lord allows into your life today, saints, I decree and declare that as a work of the Lord's hands, you can command the work of the Lord's hands. Speak peace. Speak grace. Speak mercy. Speak harmony. To God be the glory. Don't allow the enemy to come in like a flood and overwhelm you and drown you. Whether it's a desire, whether it is um, a distraction, an influence. It's merely sent to you to knock you off your game. Compose yourself. Draw on the spirit of the Most High God. Command the works of God's hands and say, Self, shut up. I'm not going to be led of my flesh today. And I am not going to blame the devil for my flesh reacting. I'm not going to blame it on an attack of the enemy. I'm going to take accountability today. Come on, saints. Let's take accountability Let's be responsible. Let's realize not everything is an attack of the enemy. He doesn't get that much praise, honor, and glory. Uh, the word that I read, Saint, says that the Lord spoke very clearly and said, the afflictions of the righteous are many, and he would deliver us out of all of them. We're supposed to be content in any place that we are knowing that this is the will of the Father for us. Oh, no. The devil made me do it. You're a liar, okay? And you're deceiving yourself. Oh, my gosh. 99% of the time, the devil didn't make me do it. I did it of my own volition. <laughs> We're so deceived, saints. We are so totally deceiving ourselves. Oh, it's an attack of the enemy. How do you know it's an attack of the enemy when you might be being chastised and you don't like the fact that you're being chastised? So, gotta say it, command the work of God's hands, starting with yourself. Put self under subjection. The Lord said that if you want to follow him, you had to lay yourself down and pick up your cross and bear your own cross. So stop blaming everything on Satan. Go to Isaiah chapter 45, verse 11. Command ye the work of my hands, saith the Lord. You are a work of his hands, and you have a right to command the work, the flesh, to sit down and shut up and be subject to the Holy Spirit. See, most of the time, saints, the flesh is in control and not the spirit of the Most High God. And, uh, you know, might as well go there. Yeah, Satan can take you captive at his will because you're doing his will. So I'm going to decree and declare over you today that you'll no longer being, be doing the will of the enemy, but you'll be doing the will of your Father in heaven. 
you are born again, you are sanctified, set apart, and you have the Holy Spirit living in you. He is your breath. You live and move and have your being in him. Saints, this horse, the Mount of Olives, a.k.a. Olivet, hope on a star. She knows right and wrong in horse language. She knows that whatever she does as a horse is going to affect something in her life. And this is how I can prove that. She knows that if she kicks the stall wall long enough, I'm going to come and feed her. Her flesh and her mind work together. She gets hungry. She kicks the wall long enough. Mama comes and feeds her. She's got me trained. The devil did not make her kick the wall. She is conditioned to know that if she kicks the wall, Mama's going to come and feed her. Wow. This is a work of God's hands, and he gave her the sense to understand and learn. If I do something repetitively with her long enough, she will learn it and retain it. Saints, you're a human being. You have authority over everything on this earth that God has given you if you are living an obedient, holy, separated life unto him. So I decree and declare over you today that you are no longer in the dark. You are no longer a child of the darkness. You are a child of the light. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes unto the Father except by Jesus, and he is the light of the world. So because he is the light of the world, and the Lord God Almighty said, Command ye the work of my hands, the Lord has entrusted you to speak over yourself and over other people and over creation to see God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Does the devil come and attack? Of course he does. The point is, is that it's not always the devil. So stop blaming everything on an attack when you're disobedient. You're not in the word of God. You're not studying. You're not praying. You're not fasting. Well, I go to church every Sunday. Good for you. You might want to go more often, but you might want to try cracking the Word of God and seeing what He says about that. Saints, I love you. I wouldn't be telling you this if I didn't care. I want to see you make heaven. The only way you're going to make heaven is by faith, through by grace, through faith in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And He said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So if you love him and you say that you love him, and the, he said in his New Testament, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy mind, all thy strength, with every ounce of your being, love him and love your neighbor as yourself. If you broke the first of, of his two commandments in the New Testament, and you're not keeping his commandments to love him and obey him, then you can't even be expected to love your neighbor. You can't be expected to love yourself enough to chastise your own flesh. You want to blame it on someone else. So I'm praying for you today. Wake up. Command the work of God's hands so that his hands can bless your hands. Wake up, saints. It's time that we figured this out. If we obey God, if we love the Lord God Almighty with all our heart, mind, will, and strength, and love our neighbors as ourselves, most of that is obedience and surrender. You can't tell me that you're still living in the world, you're still sinning on a daily basis, and come and tell me, according to the Word of God, that you're going to make heaven. So I speak to you, praying for your souls today, that you do love the Lord God Almighty with all your heart, soul, mind, will, strength, and being, and you love your neighbor as yourself, and you get up and be about his work, commanding the work of his hands.
And that starts with self. Command self. Bring self under subjection. The blood of Yeshua Hamashiach is against Satan. The blood of Yeshua Hamashiach speaks greater things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hides you, protects you, keeps you. The fire of Kadesh Ruach is capable of burning the dross off you. The fire of Kadesh Ruach, Holy Spirit. Father God, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall. Let it fall on us, Lord. Give us such an understanding and a peace about your presence living in us, Father, that we run to the fire. We welcome the fire. We desire the fire. Saints, I just pray for you today that you will learn to serve before you yearn to burn, that you not walk in strange fire yearning to burn with that strange fire because if it's not about jesus and loving other people and obeying yeshua hamashiach if it's about the world and the world system and finances and fame and fortune and materialism oh bring a thousand dollar seed the first five people that brings a thousand dollar seed right now God is going to bless you. That is a lie, saints. And if you're into materialism and financial prosperity, that is ridiculous. That is not showing the love of the Father to people to tell them and to deceive them into believing that they can make a deal with the Lord and that they can just pay off their sin debts. Bring your seed and you will be blessed. Uh, no, because if you have aught against your brother or your sister, you are commanded to lay down your offering. Go and make things right and then come back and offer it. Saints, get out of the world system. Get out of the corrupt religious systems that you are in. Come out from amongst them and be ye separate and be ye holy, says the Lord. I bless you today, saints, to be filled with the Holy Spirit, to be filled with the true fire of Kadesh Ruach. I bind and cast out the strange fire that you have been deceived by, and I decree and declare today that you will open the word of God that you will study to show yourselves approved and you will no longer be under the guise of religiosity that you will read the Bible for yourself that you'll study the Greek and the Hebrew for yourself that you will be a blessing to someone that has less than you have bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me, bless his holy name. It's Sister with a Testimony on the Mount of Olives. God bless you. I love you, saints. I wouldn't tell you this to offend you or hurt you. But if you're offended or hurt, it's probably because you're not in the right place that you need to be with the Lord. Because offense is going to come. Guess what? I'm not taking the bait of Satan. I'm going to love, accept, and forgive, and I'm going to tell it like it is, and I'm not going to compromise. God bless you. I love you. It's sister with a testimony. Later, I plead and apply the blood of Yeshua over you.